Mesa studio which is Timmy Toro productions look how cool the studio is I know you guys saw him last time when we interviewed here but if you do want to come in here and do some voice lessons music lessons you can make sure to check him out I will put his links down below and also at the end of this video but right now I have an amazing person in the studio that I love I can I'm so excited to talk to this person I can't wait for y'all to get to know him He's an amazing man. His name is Mauricio Navarro. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank Did I say you, that right? Me. Yeah. I okay. said Navarro. I said that right on the first try? Yeah. I okay. mean, the, there's the English way and the Spanish way, I guess. How do you say it the Spanish way? Navarro. 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 The, the R is a rolling. We're going to say Navarro then. Navarro. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome. I'm so glad to talk with you. I've worked with you over the years and it's been so fun working with you. Yeah. And I just want the world to kind of know who you are. So can you awesome. just tell us a little bit about how you got started in the film industry? Um, yeah, I, well, I'm a more, I feel like more I'm an independent filmmaker. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the industry is still on the horizon in, yeah. my, in my space that I'm right now, uh, but I started fil uh, film school, basically. Wow. 2004, I started taking classes, uh, theory classes, mm -hmm. mostly uh, at doing an analysis of movies, mm -hmm. uh, classic movies, you know, uh, you know, all these old, old school movies yeah. that they, they put in our, on your film class mm -hmm. and stuff. So I, from there, I started polishing up by, to the technical part with cameras and post production and he's you know. the best. <laughs> oh, thank when you. I say when I mean when it comes to cameras, he is the best. Like he's he's being real humble, oh. y'all. But no no lie, like he is like the one everybody calls for everything. When it comes to camera, <laughs> this is the man to go to. I'm telling you, you're you really are bomb. Like every time you oh, do your work you. and I see it, it's so good. And you also come from a line of artists, from what I was told. Like your dad's an artist and your sister's an actress. Or... Yeah, yeah. My dad is a painter. Wow. He's uh, yeah, he paints. He's that's his life. He, yeah. he loves to paint. And I, I shout out to my dad, Hank <laughs> Art. He's a abstract artist. And uh, my sister, she's an actress and wow. director. Actually, oh, she had nice. directed a, a, a theater play. Uh, not directed, but she wrote it, mm -hmm. and then had a group of artists like produce it and, and direct it and everything. That's uh, shout out to my sister, which she's been in, in one of our films, and awesome. well, I would say most of my films, you know. Okay, <laughs> she's been film. in a film. You've been in a yeah. film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's an actress. I mean, I can't, how can I say? Yeah, you know, you I have to I'm take not advantage. You in the film, you know, but I'm gonna put you in my film is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're an actress and I'm a director. Why not? It's a perfect match. It's yeah. a perfect match, yeah. literally. So yeah, I feel blessed that I have a lot of stimulus from my family. Yeah. That, that there's you know, a, a creative part of, of the, the family. Yeah. So my dad used to have a, a video store when I was a kid. Oh, wow. So, yeah, he would show me all these movies. And actually, about 94, 95, mm -hmm. when Pulp Fiction came out, mm -hmm. he, he really dug into this film. We watched it so many times, and we went over a lot of parts of the story. Mm -hmm. It helped me understand a lot what the character developing is. Yeah. When, when the characters like uh, Jules, specifically the gangster that mm -hmm. decides to leave the, the, the world of gangsters because yeah. he felt the presence of God. Mm -hmm. There was something mystical about that. And, and I didn't get it the first time. And mm -hmm. when I understood, understood that, that really come up, like to me is like, movies are amazing. There's not just yeah. a story. There's like, there's a lot what the character would bring to a movie, you mm -hmm. know? Because I, I would say, like, well, the first time I started filming was I had a, a handy cam. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. just go out around and sh shooting, like, my parents' uh, <laughs> parties. and. <laughs> you got to uh, start somewhere. I'm just saying, yeah, we got to start somewhere. I, 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 yeah, I filmed, like, my, my uncle's weddings and 
all that kind of stuff and and i was just happy to just i i you know i felt like behind the camera you 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 want people to not notice you that yeah. was one of the things that i loved about yeah <laughs> And that's okay, it happens during camera, it's Sorry fine. Sorry about that. Yeah, starting with films, I honestly, with the Handycam, I just, you know, got together with friends and we like making up a story on the go. We didn't, didn't even bother to write a script. We were like, okay, I'm gonna do this and you're gonna be there and we're gonna <laughs> shoot this. And we, we were like, do it. And we edited it on camera and everything because so cool. it was tape. So it was, yeah, this like, it started really on the, on the ground, like yeah. zero, zero ground. <laughs> also go through the, the editing process of mm -hmm. the movies too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I hate editing. I I cannot, like it's, it's hard for me to try to edit. I edit my own shows, but it's hard to do. Mm -hmm. Take us to what it's like, honestly, to put these movies together. Because a lot of people, I've even asked that question. Mm -hmm. When you're making a movie, how in the world when you're in that editing room, do you really put something from beginning to end and make us feel like go through all these roller coasters? You have to know yeah. what emotions are being shown through. Yeah. How do you guys edit like that in a movie? Uh, I would say there's a lot of process on the, on the video editing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, you know, it's to me, it's like kind of like a puzzle. Yeah. You're, oh. you're putting pieces together. Um, some, sometimes it's not totally linear. Um, in class, they will talk a lot about non-linear non editing, yeah. which is like, you know, you got a little bit of freedom to change uh, the time zone and take you take you to a different time. Yeah. So have you ever seen the mm -hmm. Memento? Mm -hmm. That movie uh, was all shot, you know, edited like the last scene and then going oh, for, wow. forward oh, to wow. the first scene. Oh so it was everything was backwards. And I was like, oh. wow, you know, you can do these things in editing. and uh, and. The other thing that amazed me was a uh, Wrecking for a Dream, which was uh, a, a drama in the 2000. And that movie also had a, a, an incredible editing, like this, the, the rhythm, the music go with yeah. the cuts. It, it was just, to me, it was that inspired me so much, you know? You, you know, sometimes in the, in the editing, it's the most important part of yeah, the film. Yeah, I believe that because you, again, it's like you're having to put all of these different puzzle pieces right. together to make it work to make something beautiful in a sense in a movie yeah but it's to also make it make sense as yeah. well because what if you miss a scene or don't put the scene right yeah. and people are like what the hell like what oh yeah yeah <laughs> like what just happened i don't understand the part of this movie i don't know which movie i want to talk about or would have made the mistake in editing <laughs> <laughs> can you give us an example of one that uh, might do you have you seen dracula with uh francis ford coppola yes so I I watched them. I love that movie. By the way, it's one of my favorite horror films. But wow. there are very continuity issues mm -hmm. on the street of the movie. <laughs> you see like weird stuff that, for example, uh, one character was biting this guy's neck on this side, and then the guy was struggling, and then he pulls him out, and he grabs this side of the neck. Yes. And I was like, what's that? Why exactly. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, little things that are just. There's a mistake. There's a clear mistake right there. Yeah. Then you have a uh, reproof it. You know, sometimes yeah. there, you need more people to watch it, study character developing, which is a little bit more complicated. You yeah. know, I want my character to be, you know, uh, I want to be creative with this character. I want him to be a little selfish. I want to make him very generous at some point. You know, it's like a you're trying to make the the emotions of the character build this story. Mm -hmm. You know, but trying to follow instructions in a way you, you have a layout of the script you're just following the script and everything but then you watch it and you feel it and there's like something missing or something that doesn't feel like the rhythm is right there's a shot that might mm -hmm. need to extend a little bit the situation and uh th that's where magic happens you start wow. polishing you know yeah now speaking of magic we got some a couple of some characters we brought now. Yeah. Now, see, we're in Chimitoro Productions, uh, Ishmael Mesa Studio, and we like to put fog on it, okay? Yeah. We're gonna get the fog going because this is important. We gotta be able to show what's going on with these masks here. Now, can you tell me what what is going on with these masks? What is this? <laughs> uh, these are masks for my future film, my Ooh. first movie that I'm gonna film. Uh, it's called in the Arms of Fire, and it's a horror film. Um, these are the masks of the villains. They're part of a cult that are worshiping 
Moloch, which is an um, ancient uh, myth, I wouldn't say, because yeah. there's a lot of myth behind the Old Testament. So, uh, yeah, this, this is a part of my movie, and I want to show off the art that goes behind of it. Yes! Um, now, who, who created these masks? Like, who made these? Um, I, I worked with an, art, an artist. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, um, well, we, we sculpt, we sculpt mm -hmm. the faces. So cool. And we cool. put uh, glass fiber and then we paint it over it. Uh, it's based a lot on the Phoenicians. It's, wow. um, the, the, the ears detail is part of mm -hmm. what, what we are basically dif di differentiating ourselves yeah. with other masked villains, you know, like Jason or, yeah. um, they, these have a big expressive expressions, big, yeah. uh, big Nose noses, and, yeah. big mouths, big eyes. Oh my gosh. Um, big ears. I'm yeah. intrigued. Now, are people, so these are from his, the set of his movies, the new movie. What yeah. is the name of this movie called? It's called In the Arms of Fire. In the Arms of Fire. We put, fire. Some, put some more smoke on it. We put the fog on it because it's there in the arms of fire with these masks and the myths. And I'm already intrigued by it. I can't I can't wait to see it. Do we have any clips that you'd like to show? Yeah. Possibly we can show a clip of this. Yeah, I actually we, we put together a scene where you are in it, where we work together. Oh, did, we, did I mention that? I forgot to she mention. Is in our yeah. And, I'm, and I'm also in the movie. That's uh, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very and exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to yeah, work with so many people in this community. And, you know, you did a great job. Thank you. You know, you're an yeah. excellent artist. Thank you. You know, I, I, did, I did like your, your performance. Yeah. And, and what you're going to see on the clip that there's, she's a reporter. Yeah, a and, great um, reporter. She's very concerned about the community, that there's a lot of bad things happening. All right, well, let's check out that clip right now from In the Arms of Fire. Roll it. Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us. Last week, Detective Arthur Martin retired from the force. All of us will miss him. We'll miss him, although he did great work. There's still many cold cases that are yet to be solved. In fact, there's about 30 children that have gone missing in the last 10 years. And that is why a sergeant I'm pleased to announce that we are assigning Detective Omar Jackson in charge of the Missing Persons Division. Thank you, Sergeant. Now, I know you have questions about the many missing child cases. I am now opening the floor to questions. Detective, 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 yes, Marianne. This town has the most missing person cases currently in the state. What are your plans as head of the division to address this? Sergeant O'Hare has briefed me on the many missing child cases. We have a good start on some leads. I am still reviewing the evidence. Dan, are any of these cases connected? It's possible. Some are kidnappings, others are just runaways. But based on the evidence that we've collected, we believe we have a child trafficking ring that has been operating in this area for several years. Detective, 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 detective Mayor Gardner has stated that he is running a platform to reduce crime in our community. What has he done with the force to address human trafficking? Nothing. The only thing Mayor Gardner has done is reduce our funding. Detective. Yes. Detective, who do you think the citizens would be better off voting for? Well, who folks in this town want to vote for is their own business. I just want to let you all know that Mayor Gardner has severely reduced our funding. Because of this, it has been extremely difficult to address human trafficking. An That's issue that has plagued this community for many years. Detective. That's all the time we have for questions. Just one more question. Thank you for coming. Please. please, Detective. Wow, so... Also, can you tell me where, what are some of the locations? Was it filmed around San Diego or where, where are some of the locations that this was filmed? Well, you did a great job on this scene. Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say that. But yeah, uh, we shot in the studio. It's uh, the Spark Studio yeah. in Bronson. Uh, shout out to David Kamatoy, who is a, a really good friend of mine. And yes. He's a producer and uh, he's doing his show. So he's helping me out with my film to shoot as a studio. Oh, nice. Really nice. Okay. Studio. Okay. And what's the name of the studio? Spark Studio and Spark Soundstage. Studio. Spark Studio Soundstage. Yeah, I've been there a few times. They, yeah. uh, we, I know we filmed part of the movie there. A lot of the independent filmmakers, uh, I, I especially love that the independent filmmakers are, are a community that really 
they they really give you that that feedback. I mean, Absolutely. when I reach out to the bigger names and people people who are, you know, bigger bigger, you know, bigger fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they uh they usually don't don't communicate that much. It is like a very you know just money or not. If you yeah. have money, I'll talk and I'm, no 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 forget about it. You know, like, <laughs> exactly. So you know, I I reach out to all these good artists and really talented people who need to be seen. Love and, it. And uh, yeah, this is a, an exciting part of. The, well, my first film. I mean, I, congratulations I, yeah. on that. That's the influence in the influence films. Can you tell us about that as well? Yeah, uh, my my independent film company. I I'm a freelance videographer mm -hmm. and filmmaker. Mm -hmm. So you know, I have a website where I mainly show my social media stuff. Uh, I do a lot of videos for uh, more clients. A lot of projects. Um, not everything is a short film. There's like you know mostly interviews and. Mm -hmm. Uh, other stuff there, and I, I've done commercials. So nice. It's, okay. You know, it's what you so have to if do. If people and, came to you and someone said, "I we actually would like to shoot a commercial with you in your company," mm -hmm. is that something that you do as well? Yes. Yes, I will do a commercial. If you anybody, we <laughs> always have them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Theinfluencefilms.com, and you can reach out my email, theinfluencefilms at gmail.com. Uh, reach That's out awesome. for me. I'm Mauricio Navarro, and you know. You're literally a full production company. You do the movies, you do the commercials, you do the interviews, you do a little bit of everything. <laughs> right, uh, to kind of be that way on, yeah. on independent films and freelance Love it. videography. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, you know, trying to get noticed. Yeah, you, when he's lying. He's already noticed. He's lying. <laughs> oh well, this is gonna help me. Uh, he's, thank you, he's already, uh, everybody out there for watching. He's so ridiculously humble. Like y'all, he's he's already out there. You're already doing it, man. Oh, like I, everybody asks for you. <laughs> it's like I, you're the main person. Okay, well, thank you. I, <laughs> <laughs> he's being humble. Like literally, everybody comes to him for everything. He's not gonna say it, but I will work alongside one of my um i love this woman to death shelly gesso yes uh, you shelly also work gesso. so she's a screenwriter yeah. so do you guys did you put in the arms of fire together or is that something you guys wrote co-wrote uh yeah she actually was the main writer of this wow movie. she mm -hmm. she actually did all the whole story yeah and i was uh what do you call it like a consultant yeah or, you know i would help her to polish some things She's got a style of uh, mm -hmm. writing, which, uh, you know, she comes from a theater thing. She's mm -hmm. like a Julian artist. and love she it. Did, she did a shout out to Shelly Jess. We love you, Shelly. <laughs> I you, had Shelley. to mention you, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she also, y'all are such a dynamic duo. Yeah. I just feel like she she comes in with the writing and then you come out the, and just rip the hell out of it with the directing. <laughs> and it's just like a dynamic duo. Y'all really yeah. are. I could see you guys at the Oscars someday, like just oh, that, together. That would because, be amazing. But I see it because I really believe in the work that both of you do. It's yeah. just it's you. It's hard to find that, but when you do find someone that you guys can create that magic together, it's explosive, and you Thank can you. see it in your films. He came here first to the Fridays <laughs> with Andrea show, and I'm gonna put some fog I'm on here that. representing. He, he us, came so here first <laughs> when they get famous. We'll just remember that, and you'll make me a million bucks on YouTube. And when people yeah. want to come back and watch this they later be on, like, you were with them. <laughs> now he's a, such a big now star. He's somewhere else Nobody like... knew who he was before <laughs> this. So many actors we've met. Mm -hmm. I mean, Randy Davison is one of these love actors. Him. I love him. Love he's him. such a great guy. Yeah, yeah. And you know, when I met him, we stayed. We were at the film festival. Mm -hmm. We stayed talk. We were talking until everybody left. <laughs> we were like outside of the place when they closed down. We were mm -hmm. another hour talking, 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 because yeah. he loves to talk about films. Yeah, he's one of the, the. I call him one of the legendary greats here in San Diego as an actor. He's amazing. He, what advice could you give? to another young up and coming director or someone that wants to work in editing and in the field that you work in, what mm -hmm. advice could you give them to get started and to get to where you're at today? Um, well, I guess going and checking out some schools and, um, but what would be a great, 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 because you know, school is not the answer to everything, but mm -hmm. you, you have an inspiration, I would say, you know, learn as much as you can from what you like to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's a comedy, romantic comedy, a drama, or you want to be at the Oscars, you got to look into what kind of genres are there. I know the mm -hmm. drama is like the big one. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. 
But sometimes what you want to do is more important. You know, you want to do a horror film, you want to have fun, you want, or you want to just do like, you know, a documentary. So there's so many avenues, there's so many focus on what kind of arts you want to show. Anything with take photos, learn composition, match frames. There's a lot of techniques and I would advise yeah. you to watch uh, A24 studio mm -hmm. movies uh, mm -hmm. to see like cinema quality. Yeah. Stuff that's more avant-garde, you know, um, and inspire yourself to become you know, I know you don't have to do everything in a film. A lot of people go against that because mm -hmm. it's like, you can't do everything. You're going to be right. like, you know, you can't be the producer <laughs> and director and the actor and the yeah. editor and the camera guy mm -hmm. and the sound guy. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's too much work, yeah. you know? And then what's one of your favorite projects that you've ever worked on? Like whatever you, if you could remember, what is one <laughs> of the best things you're like, man, I love this project. I could do this all day, every day. You know, it's it's funny, yeah. I remember when I just came to San Diego in 2013, mm -hmm. I joined the ASD house, which wow. is an activist center, and I, that's where I met Shelly. Wow. And that's where we started working together. We did a radio show. Wow. It's called the Holistic Vibrations. Mm. I was very invested in this project because mm -hmm. it was a, a holistic health, and I know California is big on health very and all much. that mm -hmm. stuff, meditation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So I was learning all this stuff. There was uh, binaural beats, mm -hmm. uh, making music that is therapeutical, yeah. and that totally took me to this new horizon of content. And we started doing a, a radio show so about cool. holistic uh, medicine, and, and it was one of the first radio shows ever aired that had that kind of so cool that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then we started, yeah, let's do a documentary. Let's go out shoot. Like what's what can we do about the pollution and it, it was just a passion to be an activist and try to help the the beautiful california oceans yeah. and mm -hmm. what we have is it's just it's up to us right you know? exactly and i felt like there was a, a great message behind it that's, that. I kind of love. I kind of love that. So that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. We used to be on, on that radio, Canis J, uh, wow. eighty-nine point seven. <laughs> You've done everything. That was, what have it was you a, not done? It was my starting point <laughs> from uh, San Diego. That's so cool. What have you not done? You do it. You do it all. Do I you try stuff? to do it, anything, <laughs> uh, and they, they call me, and I say yes. And then I'm there, and I'll do it, and I'll be happy to, you know. You really truly love what you do. I think. And, I do. Yeah. I, I do, and. Um, when you do it for a long time, mm -hmm. sometimes you're you're focused on one thing, and then yeah. they pull you in, and you're like, "Are you gonna pay me?" Or, <laughs> you know, like, That's so the number one question here in San Diego. Like, you know, Are you going to pay me for this? <laughs> and if you want quality, you need to pay. And I do believe that, and the quality that you possess with what you do in your work is something that needs to definitely be paid. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. do need to to work on doing that more. I think in our in our industry. Yeah, and, um, everybody's happy. Like right. that's that's why what what's what I care about is like, you know, sometimes somebody doesn't know if they're gonna get their money back because they see it right. as an investment. Right. But uh, when they see it and they feel like, you know, I, this is something great for social mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. I could grab interest. And, and as far as producing a video and all right. that, I'm I'm there until. I deliver the video exactly and then you do what you can do to right. get your money because that's your product <laughs> and uh, and that's where it feels like there is that business side you know yeah. like the with the final product how can I get sponsors how can I put this on on Amazon Prime exactly. or you know iTunes mm -hmm. and, and you know try to make your investment yeah. worth it in and it's it's the final part of the circle like you love every part of the part, the stage of the project and you want to keep doing it that's right. what I, that last part is just it's just like here you can do the, the next film right. with that you know and that's right. a, a chain of thing and not always it goes that way you know sometimes mm -hmm. you're just spending money and you don't get anything you have to work on your craft and mm -hmm. start learning more uh, to me as a director i'm learning more and more how to find my character in the right. acting you know yeah. like i want the character to be i want you to punish them with this sentence or something yeah. you know kind of have yeah. a, you know like give me that line but i love that pause and look mm -hmm. him in the eye when they say that line and the little things that are kind of 
let's see what, what what you can do you know sometimes yeah. the actors do it themselves or right but the, the, you have you have a vision i always say directors have a vision in their brain of how they want it to be done like as an actress that's kind of how i am mm -hmm. it's like i can say so many times in my head this is what it sounds like you know but to the director you may have a total different way or verbiage of how it's supposed to be done the emotion the range mm -hmm. and how you want it to be said and done yeah. so i'm always looking to the director to be like what's in his brain like how <laughs> does he want me to do this really and, and i'm always open to changes love that because when it's, once the script is done yeah um you know, especially because I work with Shelly, mm -hmm. there's this director and screenwriter kind of battle. <laughs> of course. You know, course. like, but how are we, or the producer mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. screenwriter. Mm -hmm. There's like always the screenwriter has a, a, another vision, yep. you know, yep. and the director is a totally. <laughs> so it's like, um, when, it's, when I go about little things like that, well. Now you're working on a, a or helping with a, a documentary right now. Is that is that something you can talk about? Um, yeah, um, I'm working on a, on a few things. <laughs> can you can you share a couple of your projects? Like just um, throw some of the names out there at us of what what projects you're working on. Some people um, I know have to be secretive, so I try to be careful with that because I understand. Yeah, I, I really don't know how hush hush is this project. I mean, I, oh, okay. I really don't know. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on that one then. I I, I think I can t talk about overtime with Barry. Okay. Okay. It's, yeah. Yes, uh, I've been a, seeing that. Yeah. yeah, he's so cool. Yeah, he's a uh, well. To, so the people in the audience know, I'm working with uh, Barry Ullman, who is uh, a referee. He, he used to be the referee on uh, San Diego uh, high schools. And uh, I didn't know that. I know Barry. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was a basketball referee. He knows so many so sportsmen. Cool. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been going on uh, interviews with a yes, lot of these athletes. Yes. And, uh, it's He's in, called um, something oh, Barry, Overtime with Barry or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah over, I know. It's like a sports show. It's really, yeah, yeah, yeah it's really it, cool. It, it brings back all the history in the 70s yeah, and 80s. Yeah, I and love it. Magic Johnson. And, yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of these great athletes and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Where can people find you? Like, if they want to work with you, I know you talked about the Influence Films and your production company, but if people are like, I'm a fan, I want to follow him, I want to watch what he does, I want to see what he's going to do next. Where can they find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram, okay. um, the Mauricio Navarro, all together. Um, I'm, I'm on Instagram. I post um, not very often, but <laughs> yeah, I'm there. And if you He's send me there. a message, I'll answer. I I'll probably do more talking, yeah. chatting, and then posting. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I want to promote more my. my my yeah. social media i have the influence films channel but awesome. my personal on youtube it's on youtube okay. it's on facebook it's on instagram cool and we have the website which ties everything together awesome you know and um i also have music if anybody's interested in listening to my music is a uh, raumicio r-a-u-m-i-c-i-o I, I never throw this out there <laughs> I, that's why my mouth is dropped because i didn't know that you do music i play music i grew up playing music we're gonna put the fog history. on him because you do you do music. I did not know that. Yeah, no, I, I oh love music. That, that was that was what I started with guitar and um, go back again. Shout out to Ishmael. We we work on the yeah. music together of, of our short film, The D Note, which is out there. And if you want to watch any of uh, the influence films, films and. Uh, it's it's there the the D note I think it's on Amazon Prime right now so you know you can rent yes, it. Yes. Cool. After the pandemic, we we jump into forty eight hour projects every year. We have a lot of fun working together. Awesome. He's a musician. Yes. Uh, we we get geeky with the music part. So, yeah. And, and uh, we've recorded in, in this place we we and, well a shack back mm -hmm. here. He has like so a little cool. drum set. We we're like recording stuff there. Like. Y'all see this studio? I'm just saying, if you yeah. want to be in here, and it, it, it feel like if I was a singer, you know, I can sing, but I can't sing real good. But if I could sing, I would totally be in the studio right now. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna y'all just gonna record some. Let me record a song in this studio, and and it's just do a lot of auto tuning for me. Okay, <laughs> just make sure you just auto tune the hell out my voice because this is not what it used to be. But. Just, I think it's cool. Yeah. Very yeah, cool totally, that you guys uh, do that. 
Yeah, no, it's it's uh, I I love music. Like like literally, if you're doing something in San Diego, you know who he is. <laughs> so. Mauricio, who? <laughs> oh, whatever, <laughs> Mauricio Navarro. <laughs> ah, see. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. being here today and, and, and coming on my show and just gracing us with your presence and letting us know everything about you. Thank All you. the links will be down below of everything that he said today. I'll make sure to put that down below so you guys please support his projects, check out his projects, and be looking for him because he's got more other things coming out, a lot more things coming out. So you'll see his name a lot more. So make sure you check him out along with these masks. The arms of fire. Be careful. <laughs> the these guys arms are, are looking fire. for you. Yes, they are. And they want to sacrifice. Oh my yeah. goodness. I can't wait. We're ready. <laughs> Thanks, so, yeah. bro. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank it was good, good to see you. And I, yeah. I'll see you on set at some point with the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you again. Yeah. And thank, thank you. you guys for watching. We will see you all next week. Bye.